Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Wild Lamb here. In today's Fuji Friday, I definitely have a lot to cover. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first thing that I would like to discuss is firmware. On the GFX100, which that camera body just came out, there's already a minor firmware update for it. And that's to support phase detect autofocus. So all of the lenses will need to be upgraded. So if you're lucky enough to have that camera body or you can afford that camera body, definitely update to that firmware and definitely update the firmware on your lenses so you can get the most out of your autofocus. The next firmware update that I want to talk about is for the Fuji X-T30. And again, this is a minor firmware update, but it's going to version 110. And what this will allow you to do is it'll allow you to treat the Q button over here as a function button, which is really useful because behind the X-T30, there's really not a whole lot of mappable buttons because they took out the D-pad. So having this available as a function button is great. I personally don't use the quick menu very often. So being able to remap this button is going to be super useful for me and in this firmware they also did some minor bug fixes but they didn't go into any details on what those bug fixes were before moving off the topic of firmware updates one thing that i do want to mention and tom one of my community members brought this up was that in 2019 we actually saw a marked decrease in firmware updates going to our fujifilm camera bodies if you look at the numbers it's a pretty significant decrease in the amount of firmware updates that we're getting for this year now fujifilms has released a lot of new technology this year but firmware updates is one of those things where all of the community members really enjoy because we're getting new features in our camera bodies and Fuji has a long tradition of really giving us new features on some very old bodies and that's something that all of us really want to see continue so hopefully this downward dip isn't going to continue into 2020 and we start seeing more firmware updates giving us brand new features because that would be incredible and it's something that we expect from Fuji Films the company. Now let's go ahead and jump into the next topic and this one is about the GFX 100 once again and that is the possibility that the GFX might be capable of outputting raw video to a external recorder. This is something that you would expect from a $10,000 camera because if you're a professional camera at that range you're expected to have an output of either raw or ProRes some sort of professional codec in which color grading is going to be significantly easier. So here's hoping that the Fujifilm engineers manage to do that in firmware even if it's a paid update like what Panasonic does I definitely think that is a feature that's worthwhile and if their camera is capable of raw output they should definitely put it in now some of my viewers have asked me to comment on the new Hasselblad X1D Mark II which is also a medium format camera and honestly I don't really have much of an opinion on that it's not because I don't have one it's just that I don't have enough experience on the Hasselblad camera and also that company brand I don't really like to comment on pretty much the any camera body that I don't have personal experience with I have experience with a lot of the other camera bodies because I've either rented them or I've used them on another shoot or I have owned them at one point or another it's just that I don't have any experience with the Hasselblad cameras or medium format in general so I'm really not going to comment on that you're much better off getting opinions from somebody else that actually has experience with that particular camera brand the last thing that I want to talk about is a Fuji lens that should be coming out this year which is the 16 to 80 f4 this is a lens that I'm really looking forward to because it just has that focal range that I really want to travel with it has that 16 millimeters which is great for vlogging and it's a nice wide view and going all the way to 80 millimeters which is a pretty nice zoom range so this is a camera lens that I'm really looking forward to but we really haven't heard much news on it at fujirumors.com they kind of estimated that it should be in the May to August range and we're kind of at the midway point right now and we still really haven't heard anything so here's hoping that the camera lens does get delayed but it really would be nice to actually get some information about that camera lens because I would love to get that camera lens while the weather is still good so hopefully we'll get some news soon but that's all I have to report thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video